Whoa, this is a much better stick already. So this review was supposed to come out like six months ago, but this kind of works out because we have a number of sticks that I can put this against. And as well, I've grown as a hockey player, as a shooter, as a channel, as objective as possible. So I feel like this is a good time to put the pros in a full review against sticks that I have and against all the testing I've done over the last year. So my original review still stands. However, this review is all gonna be about where pro you know, excels, where they can improve, who I recommend these sticks to, and all sorts of other stuff. So this is gonna be a good one and a full on review of these sticks. And I do apologize, I wish I released this earlier because we just met with Chris from Guitar Slinger Hockey and he tested the pros, but I'm going all in. Pro Sticks have been on my stick tier list in the top 10 as a recommended brand to purchase for any player, rec, beer league, pro, whatever it might be for almost two years. My original review came out a long time ago and I only did one stick. Now I'm putting all the pros, the mid, the low, and the third line build against all the top sticks that I have in my repertoire right now. And I'm gonna give you my honest reviews and although my stick tier list hasn't changed, this is still in the top 10 in terms of my recommendation. Who I recommend these for and my thoughts on these sticks are gonna be far more detailed. Stick around. All right, guys. I get so many questions about Pro Stock Sticks. And I gotta thank Geppetto for sending me a bunch and to my friend, Kevin, who set it all up. You can see those sweet, sweet name bars. Mean Machine is my team name beer league bum so thanks geppetto we're gonna test these out so what we're gonna do here is i got the three different sticks we got a low kicker mid kick and one is the heavier version i believe but i will have to confirm stick specs i've got a ton of sticks with me and we're gonna rank them and then at the house i'll give you guys my full thoughts on the pro stock sticks and we're gonna lay them all out and we're gonna run through it all i'm gonna tell you how they all rank especially against the top guns so let's hit it up Definitely. Okay. Okay, so this is the Pro Stock Low Kick Red Line. And so we're gonna go with it first. I'm not generally a fan of the Pro Stock Low Kick. I, I don't think it has that much pop, but when we compare it to the others, you'll see the ranking. So let's run through a couple shots. That was a little bit better. All right, just a couple more, just so I get the feel. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have the pop on slap shots for sure. That was a little better. Okay. Ah, right, one more, just for good luck. My style. Yeah, definitely lacking on that style of shot. So here's the pro mid kicker. Number one for now. Okay, so right now we got the pro low kicker. Sorry, I just said mid kicker. Against one of the best low kick sticks, in my opinion, the agent. Durability aside, I'm going to run through a couple shots of the agent and rank it to this. I mean, there's a massive difference there already. You can't really hang with the agent, but it's also twice the price. I mean, that's kind of night and day, unfortunately. One more. Durability aside, agent, number one right now. Let's summarize as fast as possible the low kick red line. This stick feels elite because it is 375 to 390 grams. It has rounded corners, it is very balanced and has really nice blade feel. This stick performs above and beyond any stick in the 200 or lower dollar range. 
I recommend this stick for somebody who is not so much a shooter, but a passer, dangler, toe dragger, and the person that's just flying through everybody and then finally gets the shot off occasionally, but is kind of like a, fa a pass first player. This stick will feel above and beyond better than team sticks and any stick that is in the second tier of our top sticks. I would take this over, say, a TMP1. I would take this over a Wrecker 1. I would take this over, you know, the Hazardous 7X, etc., because it still feels elite. At the end of the day, this is not a shooter stick. We'll get into that. That's the mid kicker. But this stick has so much value for those things above and beyond. Do not go out and buy a $200 stick that is in the lower tiers of the top manufacturers. Purchase this if this fits your game because you're the dangler, the passer. You know, you need that nice light stick with the blade feel. Now here's the caveat with the Pro Redline versus say a top end Trigger 8. I just picked this up and I started shooting with it yesterday in my first game and I was blown away by the shooting of this stick. It is lights out. Now, this is actually a heavier stick and now they've kind of added the blade feel on here so it's kind of similar to the Redline. But the reason that this stick shoots better is very simple and it's R&D on the taper. CCM has perfected the trigger taper. It's been on this stick now, I think, since the four. So it's the asymmetrical taper, and it has probably millions of dollars of R&D backing it and literal engineers. This stick will outperform from a shooter's perspective, but it's also $400. So if you're not somebody like me who just like wants to exaggerate my shot as best as possible and spend that money, that's where I go pick up the trigger eight. But if I'm not the person that's like that and I don't need that, that's where the pro is a far better choice. So my recommendation for Geppetto is two things. Either keep the pro the way it is or slowly start developing and testing a new taper to bring it closer to the shot power of say a trigger or an agent. Not going to be an easy thing because there's a lot of money and stuff in that. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's required, but that's the difference in say, a Trigger 8 Pro and an Agent and now the new dual fire kick point from uh, Sherwood is those have quite a bit of R&D and it's not quite the same with a low kick stick. So that's totally up to you. Go spend $400 on the Trigger 8 and you'll have a better shot. But if you're just a passer and a dangler and like puck feel and you don't need just that slight little bit of extra shot power, the Pro is going to work just fine at 200 bucks. Okay, this is the Pro Mid Kick Redline 375 with a line A curve. I love the line A curve. So right now we got the Agent and the Low Kick Redline. Let's go with the Mid Kicker. Oh, this is a much better stick already. Wow. Bit heavier, bit heavier. All right, all right, couple more with the mid kick. Let's go with the slappers, just cause obviously. Oh man, this thing hangs though. Fuck. With that line A curve, you're gonna put one up. The mid kicker pro, is definitely better than the low kick version by a mile, by a mile. I can't believe I'm doing this, but it's above the agent. The mid kick pro is legit. And I think the reason is, is because at the end of the day, the kick point on a mid kick stick is just based on as much bend and stored energy in the shaft as possible. We're not relying on crazy engineering here to have a taper that moves the kick point around, etc. This stick is actually, in my personal opinion, the best mid kick stick on the market. It actually, in my opinion, outperforms the ASV Pro. It outperforms the Sync, and by far and wide outperforms the Novium because you can actually shoot other shots with it. 
and any other mid kick stick that's out there. That's the three off the top of my head. And the reason is, is, is this actually amplifies my shot. Now, when I use the ASV Pro, I liked it, but the new taper actually changed how the mid kick itself performed. And CCM even said that. So this is a traditional mid kick feel where you can get huge bend and great power. And tuppled with the blade feel of Pro's blades, and you have a nice winner. And in the red line at 375 grams, you're talking elite feel here. So I really think that this stick has far more value than the others. And because it's under $200, the amount of power, feel, weight, and balance you get in this stick is far and beyond any other mid kicker on the market. And you don't need weird tapers. You don't need five sides. You don't need anything like that. So this stick has the best value. If you're a mid kick guy, this is the stick. I'd be picking this up. All right. So this is the heavier version. This is the 425 gram stick and it's heavy and its response definitely isn't as good. So after testing like the, one of the heavier versions and I actually had a couple other ones but this video is long enough as it is. Um, the two elite versions of the sticks in the red lines um, perform the best, feel the best, they, you know, have the most elite feel to them. And I personally feel that these two are the way to go. Um, it's not to say there isn't value in the lower uh, priced versions, but as soon as we start adding weight to the sticks, so we had the 425 gram, which I just showed you, and we actually have a 440 gram, which I didn't even put on camera. As soon as you start adding materials, you start losing um, the recoil because at the end of the day, it's harder to flex more material. Your walls are going to be thicker, etc. Now that mid kick that I just showed you still shot decently, but it just didn't feel elite anymore because it was much heavier, 425 grams on the scale. And the 440 gram I just felt was too laggy and too heavy. So it's just not worth it in my opinion to go with those sticks because these are just such good value. You know, these are $200 elite sticks. You might as well just go with this. Like there's no point in going with a hundred dollar stick because there just isn't another hundred bucks. You have an elite stick with amazing durability, great feel, you know, good shot power on the mid kick, great, you know, dangling and stick handling and stuff on the low. So that's just my personal opinion. We're going to finish this video up with the final thing. And that's the X factor at the end. Okay, I think this is where the pro is gonna struggle because the hybrid kick is just that much better. But let's just see. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to compete with this. It's gonna be pretty hard. Yeah. Not gonna be competing with that, unfortunately. FT6, better. We got my third warranty return Hyperlite 2. I broke them so fast, they actually gave me a third one. Let's see how she ranks. Actually feels a lot like the uh, low kick, actually. Kind of a weak slap shot. Ah, let's see. That's where the release is better. Quite a bit better. What about snappers? It's about the same, you can feel the lag. Man, 
I really don't like the low kick pro, I gotta say. We only got two more sticks. Because I don't have a million dollars. Although my wife hates seeing all these sticks right now behind the camera. She had no idea the budget for this video. Novium, mid kicker. We've got a pro up there. Let's see how the Novium feels. I haven't used this in ever, so it'll be interesting to see. Man, it's got a heavy shot for sure. It's got a heavy clapper. But like, that's all it's got. Uh, I don't know. All right, some wristers here with the Novium. Yeah, it's not the same, for sure. Yeah, I, the stiffness on this is, it's better than the pro heavy, but not by much. As you guys can see, the pro mid kicker has so much value and performance for the buck, it's amazing. So there's your rankings. We're gonna talk about them at the house and go over each one a little more. I'll see you back there. Before people start totally ringing me up here, is remember the whole point of this is just to put the pros against top end $400 sticks against something that's half the price range and see how they perform in relation to that. And then we'll get into all the details of what those are. But from a performance standpoint, these sticks at less than $200 will hang with many of the top sticks and beat a number of the top, top sticks, especially the mid kick. And the pro actually inspired a new ranking system for me and I'm gonna talk about that at the very end of the video. So stick around because that is gonna be on all new stick review videos and I'm calling it the X Factor. We have been testing a lot of sticks, especially the last six months, a number of releases. We've had the good and we've had the bad. And it's really inspired me to actually come up with a slightly different rating system as we move into 2024 and some of the crazy new sticks start coming like the Agent R or Proto R, Proto Agent, whatever they're going to call it, uh, the Ghost. You know, we've got some interesting sticks coming. And what it made me realize is that some sticks will amplify your game, they'll amplify your shot. They'll amplify your stick handling, whatever it might be. And other sticks just kind of are there and they do what they need to do. They're the extension of you, but they don't amplify anything. And that's what the X factor is. And interesting enough, I came up with uh, two X factors for pro sticks. Uh, the first one is going to be the mid kick. At the end of the day, the mid kick amplified my shot. It was actually far better than the ASV Pro, the Sync, etc. for a mid kick stick. If I was going to a harder shot competition, I'd probably bring this to be honest because I'd probably win with this. It's just going to add five, six, seven miles per hour to my shot and you could easily see it when I was shooting a little bit harder on camera. But when I let those first shots go, man, this thing was impressive. So from an X factor for the mid kick, this will improve your shot. And if you actually kind of are one of those people that don't really have the best shot ever, I suggest picking up this because it'll actually amplify it. Second X factor is going to be customization. And no stick brand has this level of customization. We're talking pro curves. We're talking grips. We're talking builds. We're talking price. It doesn't matter what it is. The stick company pro has the most customizable options to make your stick exactly how you want it. So at the end of the day, if you like crazy curves, and you want specific grip, and you want specific lengths, and you want specific builds in some way, shape, or form, weight, whatever it might be, the X Factor here is all of that is possible with Pro, and it just isn't with everybody else. Even my Bauer is just giving you a retail stick that has a couple different custom curves. Not the same. So X Factor, definitely higher on this stick. By putting the pro stocks up against some of the best sticks I had, I was able to tier these better and revise my stick tier list by adding the pros, both the low kick and the mid kick into it as separate entries because technically they are separate sticks. It's been a long time since my original pro stock video, so I wanted to update this. And my final advice for Geppetto would be to start building a hybrid 
see if it's possible. See if you can compete with the, the uh, jet speed line just by building that different style. And just for fun, maybe start messing around with tapers on the low kick stick and see if you can improve the shot power just a little bit. And that thing's going to move up there and could be a trigger or agent competitor. Thanks for watching, guys. Tons of sticks coming. As you can see on the tier list, we got three more sticks that we got to add. See you next time.